all right everyone first of all thank you so much everyone to join this beautiful webinar and this is our public webinar as we have done in a previous webinar about cold multiple time frame analysis higher time frame to lower time frame so there are different different story okay in a different uh webinar okay so in this webinar we are going to choose any other pair to uh, use multi time frame analysis higher time frame to lower time frame okay so what happening right now uh, in other pair like crypto market also in a trending and everyone talk about uh, crypto market and also in a forex market also uh, like keep pushing upside and downside and right now market in a ranging actually so there are a lot of phenomena change in a market due to some fundamental reason okay so let's see and which way you would like to do a multi time frame analysis in this webinar so please suggest me in a chat section then i can decide which one is the most requested okay Okay, the okay, so there are so many uh, different different uh, requests like gold, Aussie USD, Bitcoin, ZPJPY, Euro USD, NAS hundred, Aussie USD. Okay. Last time we have done about a gold. So this time gold is not possible. We need to a different pair. Euro USD, Aussie USD, Bitcoin. Okay, let's check a Euro USD in a higher time frame to lower time frame. And after that, we can cover a little bit about crypto market as well. So no need to worry about it. Okay, let's see what happening in a Euro USD in a higher time frame perspective to lower time frame and what we can expect here. Okay, let's see. euro usd let's see start from the monthly time frame perspective what happening here in a monthly time frame now what are you looking here and what we can expect here so this is an important thing in a euro usd first of all you need to check here what happening here this is clear a bear stand in a time frame as a monthly time frame okay so in a monthly time frame structure is a various here so you don't need to trade buy sell in a monthly time frame just a reference purpose we can use a monthly time frame because someone trade in a long term perspective okay so you have to use the these time frame okay so this is our structure here and as you know the first of all you have to mark the recent structure in this case first of all you can see here where is our previous recent structure and when we can expect here look at this one this is our exact previous lower low is here just from here in a monthly time frame and inducement taken out and after taking out the inducement generally what are you looking here we are looking here for the buy after sorry sell after taking out the inducement and confirm our lower low is here right so if market momentum is a bearish and taking out the inducement confirm the lower low right so this is our lower low confirm here break this uh, pushing upside and break this low and when market break the main low and this one is a called break of structure because market momentum is a bearish and everything looks bearish here one market taking out the inducement and break uh, like confirm the lower low break the structure this one become our break of structure here okay all right so this is our a break of structure here and after break of structure generally what are you looking here we are looking here for the sell on decisional and extreme py okay and uh, in this case after break of structure you have to identify where is our unmitigated 
like uh, in order block, order flow, when we are looking for the buy and sell. Okay, so before to marking a PY, you have to identify where is our inducement. So in this mean, basically after break of structure, first pull back is called inducement. In this line, you, have, you can see here market coming from top like this. Okay, and then what happened here? Market take a small pullback here and then push downside. Okay, it means market is still not taking out any kind of inducement here. If market taken out this inducement right here, so we can expect this is lower low become here is a confirm here. And after taking out the inducement, possibly we are looking for the sell and continuation in a downside movement. So this is a higher time frame scenario in a monthly time frame in a Euro USD. So first of all, you have to mark the structure and this become our inducement right here. Okay. Inducement is here. And once market confirmed, this is an inducement. Now you have to identify where is our unmitigated order flow. So simply order flow is our last buying momentum before the sell is here. Let's see. And this is our unmitigated order flow is here. So if market mitigate this unmitigated order flow, then we can expect a downside move here. Okay. This is our unmitigated order flow is here. And if price type here, then we can expect a downside move here. Why this one is here? Because this one is our last buying momentum before the sell. After taking out this one and mitigate this order flow, and then we are looking here for the sell, right? So this is our scenario in a Euro USD in a monthly time frame perspective. And now if I'm switch here in a different time frame, then uh, we can see what are you, uh, then we can expect what's going on in a different time frame. This is a monthly time frame perspective and price must be mitigate this one before a continuation downside move like this, right? So this is a possible scenario in a Euro USD in a monthly time frame. Now I'm going to switch here in a weekly time frame, then we can see what happening here in a weekly time frame perspective. Okay, so this one is our monthly order flow right here. So simply you have to identify where is our weekly structure. What happening here? Okay, based on monthly time frame, this one is our PUI here. And now we are looking here for again sell because this one is our previous structure was created here. This is a previous lower low is here market pushing upside and finally market create new higher high and break this door. And this point become again a break of structure here. And after break of structure, what are you looking here? We are looking here for sell after taking out the inducement. So where is our inducement? Inducement only first will work. In a weekly time frame, this point become our inducement. So once price taken out this one and you have to identify where is our decisional PY here. So right now we can see the all order flow is mitigated here. Only unlimited order flow was here. Okay. So when price mitigate our decisional PY, then we can sell here. First PY is here. And now you have to identify where is our extreme. Extreme always top. So simply you can see this is the last buying momentum before the sell is here. This is a refinement of the weekly order flow, right? So if I step on this, then we can expect a downside move here. Okay. And this is a higher time frame scenario. And now what are you looking here? At this point, what is happening here in a lower time frame? Okay. So in this case, what are you looking here? We are looking here for short term buy to the upside till this PY mitigation. So how you can deal in this situation? Simply you can deal here in a lower time frame, in a weekly time frame. 
okay so you have to switch here in a like a daily time frame right now you have to understand what happening here in our weekly time frame py mitigation and fail so when press decisional py fail then we are looking for the vital extreme py mitigation so simply you need to wait for it like a py fail and then push higher taken out the inducement mitigation and then again continue looking for the upside mitigation any extreme py and then sell so same thing happening here price mitigate our decisional py and after that what happening here after that we are looking here for to continuation to the upside inducement taken out again we are expecting price going higher high right here okay and now we are looking to the upside till this py mitigation here okay so this is a possible scenario in a university in a weekly time frame if i am switch here in a daily time frame then let's see what happening here Okay, so this one is our daily time frame structure here. And what are you looking here? In terms of the daily time frame structure, first of all, you have to mark the structure first. Okay, so this one is our previous structure here, which was here, and this was our higher low because before it everything was bullish and market continued looking for the upside and market uh, breaking the structure and continue pushing higher high. So when market creating higher high, simply we are looking for the buy. But unfortunately, what happened here? market break this low and confirm now this point become our chop when market create a chop and then now we are expecting price must be tap on your decisional and extreme py then we can sell right so right now you have to wait for it to take out the inducement so price taken out the inducement here and once price taken out this inducement here simply we are looking for the sell on decisional py is here I'm talking about our decisional and extreme in terms of different different time frame. Okay, so this is our daily time frame scenario, and this was our weekly time frame. Okay, so again you have to wait for it on extreme py is here. So once price mitigate this one, and then we can expect a sell side move right here. So in future, if market type here, then definitely we are willing to sell at this point based on daily time frame structure. Okay, and right now what happening here? In a right now market just creating. Uh, like internal structure grabbing the liquidity is here you know the when market grab the main liquidity is here which is indication that we are looking for the buy to the upside this one is our order flow is here order flow mitigation last selling move before the buy taking out the liquidity push higher mitigation and continue going high high and now what are you looking here we are looking again why after taking out the inducement so once the market taken out the inducement then we can expect a continuation move to the upside so when market taken out this one, then we can expect a short term move maybe possible and maybe a downside here, but you have to buy after taking out this inducement before continuation like this one. Okay. And then we can expect a continuation till this PY is here. Okay. Okay, so now you have to check here in a four hour time frame what happening here in a four hour time frame. Then we can see. Let's see. 
four hour time frame picture was very bliss and now turn into Paris. Okay. Based on four hour time frame, look at this picture here very carefully. Right. Momentum was very bullish and now swift into bearish. Okay. So now what are you looking here? Before to marking anything is here, you have to mark the four hour structure here. So this one, our previous lower low is here because market taking out the inducement here, confirm higher high is here. And this point, market get the liquidity, taken out the inducement. So once market taken out the inducement, our lower low confirm. Push down side, break this low, confirm break of structure, push down side, again taken out the inducement and confirm new low right here. Right here, and this is our new lower low is here. And this point become our new lower high. Again, push down side. Confirm new lower low is here. And taking out the inducement right here. And what are you looking here? This point become our next chalk. Because structure shift will bear us to bullish here. Because before this move, this was our peak of structure. Right here. And this was new, another break of structure here. Okay, and now again, we are looking for to continuation to the upside. Continue price going higher, high, higher, high. Market not taking out any kind of inducement. Right now, market just taken out the inducement here. Uh, technically, this point. Okay, so based on uh, four hour time frame, market structure is still bullish, showing bullish here. But you have to identify where is our decisional and extreme PY. Decisional is here, the last selling move before the buy is here, which is mitigated by this move. Price tap here on this one and then give a small lecture and fail. And now you have to identify where is our, the extreme, extreme always on bottom of the move. So simply look at this one. First of all, this one. Okay. So this one is our demand zone. When we are expecting that if price tap here, then we can expect a continuation move to the upside based on daily, sorry, big a four hour time frame right here. Okay, and just below it, there is no unimediate PY or anything here. Everything is mediated here. Look at this one. Okay, and this is our extreme PY. So one price step here, and then we can expect a continuation move to upside. And right now, price just grabbing the liquidity price step here and fail, taking out the liquidity, extreme PY mitigation here, right? And then sell. Okay. And you have to always identify where is our order flow because order flow is a primary. When price mitigate your order flow, then market very highly chances that market will give you reversal to the downside or upside in terms of the structure. Okay, right now price type here and push downside again. We are looking here for the sell, take the structure, wait for creating inducement, something like this, and then again sell here. So this process will be continue after price must be tap this one and after meditation chalk and reversal and then buy to the upside right here okay so this is a possible scenario in a euro usd in a four hour time frame like in a four hour time frame you can short term shell till this py mitigation but in a higher time frame scenario looks bullish once price mitigate this one okay so this is a daily time uh, weekly sorry four hour time frame scenario here let's switch here in a one hour time frame this was a move happened here during uh, FMC news. Okay. So in a one hour time frame, what are you looking here? We are looking here again, sell inducement taken on push higher, take the structure and confirm new boss. Right here, push down side and price must be taken out the inducement. Inducement taken out after taking out the inducement. Simply you have to identify where is our decisional PY. This one, the last buying momentum before the sell is here. So when price step here, then we are willing to sell here at this point. And the where is our next extreme? Extreme is here. The last buying momentum before the sell is here. So basically we have a two PY is here. First one is a decisional and the next one is extreme. If you are thinking that which one you should use here, the four hour and one hour, weekly, daily four hour, you have to think about it like which kind of trading you are like day trading okay and you are day trading or if you are a like swing trader 
it depends on you. If you are a day trader, then you can use one hour time frame. Okay, you don't need to check any other time frame. But if you are a swing trader, then you can use four hour and daily time frame as well as. Okay, so this is a process to identifying the structure and PY. Okay, I'm just marking everything because everyone trade different different scenario. That's why. Okay, so this is one decisional PY price mitigate this one. Then we are expecting a sell side move in a euro USD. If price came back to the upside right here and then create a reversal and then we are selling here okay so this one is a possible scenario in a euro usd if this py is a fail here one more possible scenario is here after mitigation of the py market give reversal and then continue to higher so in this scenario you have to again wait for inducement mitigation of py and then buy to the upside so this one is a possible scenario here right and this is our inducement mitigation auto flow auto block anything is here and then we can continue and this move happen only when press failed this py in that case if not create so simply you have to wait for it like both are look similar like chalk and chalk but in this type market again break this low and create inducement mitigation py here and then sell that's why at this time break this level and not create any inducement that's why this become a fail and now we can buy to the upside right here okay so this one is a possible scenario in a euro usd in a one hour time frame on decisional and extreme when press type on extreme then we can expect a downside move in a euro usd right let's see here what happening in a five minute time frame in a counter trend counter trend uh, is a five minute time frame Okay, and after break the structure, first low high is a broken. That's called fake chop. Break this one. Fake chop only happen here. Push down side, no need to buy here. Break this one. Still sweep here. Nothing else. Break this one. If market or uh, like break this one, and push down side, and if we can expect a mitigation something here, and then we are willing to buy here. Okay, and this is a counter trend buy here. And you have to remember this is a low probability buy setup here and 50-50% probability. Okay, because you are buying in you know, against the major trend. That's why. So this one is a possible scenario here. Okay. Now let's see. And this is a different different time frame. Now switch here in a, another one is here is a Bitcoin because everyone mostly invested in a Bitcoin in a crypto market traders. Okay, let's see what happening here in a daily time frame. In a daily time frame scenario is a still looks bullish here, very strong momentum. What when if we can expect next momentum based on daily time frame? At least market must be taken out this low. When market taken out this low, and then we can confirm that price was we have on this demand zone here. If market technically looking for to continuation to the upside, but if you see here weekly time frame, then you can understand what happening here. Look at this one. Okay, so the previous high was here, right? Market just grabbed the liquidity. This is a not a good indication for the continuation to the upside. So if market came back on this point and create any bullish momentum, maybe possible in a next attempt, price can be close of it like here. So we can see very strong movement in a Bitcoin. Okay, but right now price grabbed the liquidity. So this is a last indication for the reversal to the downside in a Bitcoin because in a next attempt you will see here the same thing happen here 
the sweep the liquidity push downside and again same high as a sweep at this point and again market gives a strong movement to the downside and right now press grab the liquidity and again grab the liquidity and now we can expect a downside move here okay so this is a possible scenario in a bitcoin based on weekly time frame okay but if price tap here and create any reversal indication so we can see strong rally to the upside in a bitcoin based on weekly time frame in a day daily time frame still structure looks bullish here if i'm going to show you here this one price must be taken out this one and press tap here and then we are willing to buy at this point here right now we can see some short term buying and selling opportunity in this case if i switch here any time frame like daily to four hour one hour 15 minute every time frame okay market momentum is a various here clearly various here and everything looks various lower lows lower high before this one lower lows lower high push down side lower lows here and technically this was a lower low here but problem is here price not close to it just sweeping the liquidity but here you will see this candle just close to it so this one is here create a new structure here chalk because this is a reversal indication before this one this was a, a break off structure here and this one is a, another break off structure here take off structure break off structure because market just taken out the inducement right here right here and right here and again pushing downside and we are again waiting for a reversal to the upside this is the last break of structure here and this is a chalk because market looks for the reversal to the upside okay and now you have to wait for it to take out the inducement which one is here Market must be taken out this inducement before to continuation to the upside. And this is a short term move is here. And people are marking this is our structure here, like one and two multi touch here and break the structure and pushing downside. And people are looking here for buy, but this point is not uh, sufficient to buy here because if you are buying or selling based on price action, simply you have to identify the liquidity when we can expect a momentum you don't need to buy here if you are buying here then you have to put the stop loss just put which is not good here okay simply you have to wait for it to grab the liquidity and wait for reaction here same thing happening here push downside break this one once the market taken out this one and then we can expect actual movement to the upside like this and this is a one hour time frame right here okay and you can short term sell here in a lower time frame in a five minute time frame and 15 minute time frame you will see so many counter trend sell opportunities here. Look at this one. Lower lows here. Taking out the inducement, mitigation, and sell. Push downside, break this low. No chalk, confirm is here. And then what happened here? Market create inducement, mitigation, and sell at this point. Break this low. Again, you need to wait for taking out the inducement. What happened? Inducement taken out. This one. This our area when we can expect price mitigation and then fall till this low is taken out. So this is a scenario happening in a Bitcoin in a different different time frame, like a, a one hour time frame and a 50 minute time frame right here. Okay, let's read your question answer here first of all, and after that I will finish the stream. And every week when I will do, I will change a different, different uh, analysis. We have done like crypto, Bitcoin, and last time we have done a gold. And, uh, and the next upcoming webinar, I will choose a different pair in a multi-time frame analysis. ZZDXY. No, sir, there are no more analysis. As you know, in our Ramadan month, already started I'm, I'm not able to speak loudly and continue that's why i'm just trying to manage your manage time for you gold already uh, i have done already so if you know that how uh, things have uh, you know happening in a 
goal so you can watch my previous youtube video i uploaded on youtube you can watch them i mentioned everything higher time frame to lower time frame which will be helpful for you aussie ost may be possible in the next week aussie ost and euro ost okay so simply you can ask a uh, your question here if you have any question no more analysis okay is there a webinar tomorrow tomorrow webinar for a discord private members not for public so public webinar already you are enjoying trading of 4.0 yes trading of 1.0 is on the way and will be launched in the may month and i'm working on it and everything will be easy to trade in our trading hub 4.0 and one setup one strategy and one uh, like uh, tp sl and everything like clean setup you don't need to focus on multiple thing you have to focus on main thing and which will be really helpful and uh, tradable for everyone you can trade everywhere Okay. Order block, order flow. Order flow is the primary, order block is the secondary. First of all, you have to identify order flow. Order flow is the primary. I mentioned so many times. If boss is a shift, okay, the how to mark the job. You have to mark the identifying the structure like previous lower low and lower high. Simply. If momentum is a bullish, okay, and continue pushing upside and just sweep this high, okay, and push downside. So how we can mark the chalk? Chalk this low. Right here. And this point become our lower low is here. And this is a higher high is here. And this is a sweep uh, structure sweeping here. Right? So this is not chalk. Actual chalk happened here. Okay. So if there is any question. Trading of 4.0 also include price action strategy. Sir, it's not our price action. I teach uh, in a 4.0, you will uh, learn the concept that which is really helpful for you, okay? And which is actually working for you and also tradable for everyone because I don't want to make it complicated, okay? And I'm just creating simple and logical everything and also proven strategy with our results on live account and everything and also included in a 4.0 live trading session okay so when i will provide uh, one or two times a live trading also weekly like every day as a markup analysis okay so you will see very big difference in a 4.0 and everything looks a uh, very easy to uh, trade for everyone when you watch uh, videos and ebook and study the price then you will understand that how things actually working and which one you should focus and main mainly focus in a 4.0 your risk management okay and risk management and next one is your psychology okay and third thing is our strategy okay so it's simply you have to combine these three things and then you will see very very uh different and very impressive result Which session is the best for beginners? 
all session are good you can trade in a london and new york is a very high volume okay during so simply you can trade them new york and london both are good in terms of the volume फोर पॉइंट हिंदी में होगा यस yes. फर्स्टली 4.0 लॉन्च होगा आपका हिंदी में मई मंथ में और जून में आपका इंग्लिश वर्जन आएगा उससे पहले आपका हिंदी और इंग्लिश का जो भी ई बुक आएगा ई बुक में आपका सब कुछ मेंशन रहेगा एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस हिंदी चैप हिंदी वीडियो कोर्स एंड वंस आई फनिस्ट द हिंदी वीडियो कोर्स एंड आई विल लॉन्च इंग्लिश वीडियो कोर्स इन अ फोर पॉइंट ओके वन यू टू कर एन टी यू ट्रैक जे पी वाई जे पी वाई इंडेक्स नो आई डोंट ट्रैक एनी डी एक्स वाई और जे पी वाई इंडेक्स आई ट्रेड डायरेक्टली ऑन अ पे आई प्लीज क्रिएट अ रिस्क मैनेजमेंट वीडियो यस आई विल डेफिनेटली क्रिएट डोंट वरी How to know a sweep is a valid for entry? When market grab the main high low grab the inducement, which is a fine, and you can wait for mitigation, and then you can buy or sell. Trading a four point of win rate. Everything will be disclosed uh, very soon. No need to worry. Everything like your table of content and what is winning rate and what you can expect and what's result. Everything will be disclosed very soon. No need to worry. I am working on it on a four point zero. Will it raise a three point zero on YouTube? Ah, uh, not sir. Maybe and maybe not. Okay. when you release reveal your face why you need my face please say uh, conduct a live trading session in new york session uh i will start live trading session everything you know after 4 point launch and i'm just working out that's why i'm mainly focus on 4.0 i now okay that's why i'm little bit uh, inactive on social media that's why i am just focusing on to develop a 4.0 and uh, once i launch a 4.0 then you will see very very amazing results in a 4.0 and everything looks very easy to trade for everyone please raise 3.0 on youtube as a gift for us let's see what happened that time how to mark the structure properly to marking the structure i already make a video that how you can mark the structure properly you can simply watch my youtube channel trading hub and also upload on hindi logic trading that how you can mark the structure properly which is very i love you khan trading hub love you too inducement not clear sir inducement i already mentioned so many time the after break of structure first pullback is called inducement you can watch my previous browse my previous youtube video where i mention everything okay please don't do spam so many a uh, copy paste other otherwise system automatically detect you and remove you from chat section please ask one by one आप कहाँ से आई एम फ्रॉम यूपी उत्तर प्रदेश कैन वी कम्बाइन थ्री पॉइंट एंड फोर पॉइंट लेट सी बट आई एम नॉट कमिटिंग राइट नाउ बट आफ्टर लॉन्च कैन सी लेट सी वॉट हैपन मेनली फोकस ऑन फोर पॉइंट टू एंड विल बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दी फोर थ्री पॉइंट टू ओके बिकॉज इन दिस डे मार्केट बिहेवियर एज बीन चेंज एंड ओके एज यू नो इन अ पास्ट फ्यू मंथस you can see market behavior completely changed and not 
creating opportunity for the buy and sell and sometimes caught uh, stop loss okay so that in that situation you have to upgrade you have to upgrade your skill and you have to change your perspective to see a market for pento uh, please conduct your live trading yes sir i will do price of 4.0 price of 4.0 uh maybe around at least 299 around 300 usd at least and maybe go higher because i will include a live trading session every week that so maybe uh depend on situation maybe go higher little bit more higher but not below 300 i have a recently 3.0 no sir if you are already part of the 3.0 members or 2.0 members so you don't need to pay anything else here simply you can upgrade your subscription free of cost you don't need to pay anything else here so inducement candle must be closed or not no for inducement there's no necessary to close above it or below it just break the inducement that's enough so if no inducement ke price gap up and down ho raha hai to can take a sell प्राइस अगर बिना इंड्यूसमेंट के गैप अप एंड गैप अप डाउन हो रहा है तो आप वेट करो इंड्यूसमेंट क्रिएट होने का उसके बाद आप एंट्री लो या फिर इंड्यूसमेंट वो जहां से भी गैप अप या गैप अप डाउन हुआ है उस हाई लो को मार्केट स्विप करे जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल इफ मार्केट इज अस राइट एंड देन नेक्स्ट डे वॉट है मार्केट स्विप दिस वन बट प्राइस गैप अप हेयर एंड देन वट अफ यू कैन वी कैन बाय हेयर on this area no need to uh, wait for inducement why because price already in a bullish trend okay and price with the liquidity here so if price with the liquidity so don't you don't need to wait for inducement simply you can buy here directly intraday mapping time frame intraday mapping time frame i already mentioned so many time like one hour you can use and find it for the nt 4.0 is smc uh no four pointers are completely different from smc but some part will be included in a smc uh like a 3.0 is uh is this is a reliable website yes this is a, our official trading hub dot tap link dot ws एक्सट्रीम पी वाई टैप के बिना फ्लिप स्ट्रक्चर में चौक मिले तो क्या करें सर सिंपली इफ यू आर बाइंग और सेलिंग ऑन डिसीजनल आइर ऑन एक्सट्रीम इफ प्राइस नॉट एप एनी डिसीजनल और एक्सट्रीम देन यू डोंट नीड टू लाइक ट्रेड यू हैव टू बाय और सेल फॉर कॉन्ट्रेट ट्रेड ओके टिल पी आई मिटिगेशन बट बिफोर मिटिगेशन यू डोंट नीड टू ट्रेड इन लाइक प्रो ट्रेंड so you say 3.2 is not a may not work in a market i later sir in this world every strategy is working there is no strategy in this world which is not working everything is working okay but it's all about that which one is a suitable for you and which one gives you more uh, like a high probability setup for the buy and sell which will is a suitable for you for everyone that's uh, depend okay because when you flip a coin you will get head and tail simple so same thing applicable in a trading when you put any trade any point then you will see those uh, those will be losing trade and those can be uh, like winning trade so it's depend okay you have to think always in a probability and you can apply probability on chart using any strategy even if you don't want to see chart simply you are willing to uh put your trade based on a price okay if you put a trade randomly like 100 dollar risk on this trade simply buy or sell and when price go higher okay as per your direction then you have to take a profit at least two or three hour okay but when you lose then you have to take already uh, only one hour not more than two or three hour which is you are taking a profit it's all about uh, like risk management and risk reward 
please make a video in Indian market structure. Yes, sir. Definitely. I will make, and I also make a video on it. So you can watch my logic trading YouTube channel, which will be very helpful for you. Lifetime full access 199 right now. Yes, definitely. Right now we are offering $199 as a lifetime full access, including 4.0. Four point is a more reliable. Yes, definitely is a four point is a definitely reliable and easy to trade. Yes. Yes, I took a four uh entry here in a Bitcoin at this point here. Okay, I sold a uh, Bitcoin here till this low yesterday. Okay, and these all thing will be uh, disclosed in a 4.0. Okay, right now I can't uh, say here, but everything will be said tomorrow. Uh, sorry, in a 4.0. If a person uh, purchased 3.0, he will get an access of 4.0. Absolutely. If Anyone want a uh, 3.0 access, then definitely you will get a 4.0 access. And also, if you want up uh, already, like few months or a few weeks ago, a few year ago, then definitely you will get a free access. No need to worry about it. High momentum news make it time. Asal hit ho jata hai, please. Stay. During news, you have to put your stop loss. And also during news, you will see a very high volume and very volatility. So if you know how fundamental actually works, so you can trade. Otherwise, you can uh, stay away from news. So 4.0. 4.0. Hindi May month May or English June month May. But ebook and diagrams you will see in a May month. Okay, end of the May month. 4.0 included fundamentals. No, sir. I mainly focus on technical because I have no idea how things actually work on fundamental because most of the time showing something different and price going against what's showing in a fundamental. That's why I mainly believe in a technical way that what is price saying if price saying is my bullish and fundamental saying a bearish so i will take a risk for a buy side okay not the fundamental because fundamental can be changed showing different and after release you will see the news was uh, wrong and misinformation and there are so many things but price never lie If you have a both unmediated big and unvalid order block, which one you should use? It's depend that if unmediated shadow, lying shadow is here or decisional and extreme, then definitely I will choose a, a shadow because shadow gives a extreme PY on extreme PY, which is a last point when we can expect reversal or continuation. How we can determine a daily wise? Daily wise you have to check the previous day structure okay and the 15 minute structure you can mark then you can easily identify what's going on in the next day four point two video demo upload karo nice demo ki zarurat nahi hai i already make so many videos and uh, i'm working on it right now content are on the way i'm just creating a lot of things like stuff like diagrams ebook video scores for all members and also this time everything will be focused on live not our videos and uh, ebooks okay main thing will be covered on a live price and live market and one or two times a live webinar 
live uh, market session discussion everything will be uh, like uh, clear in a live market so majority focus on a live trading in a 4.0 आपसे सीखना है डेफिनेटली यू कैन ज्वाइन कम्युनिटी ओके एवरीवन सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू फिनिश द स्ट्रीम एंड इफ यू ज्वाइन लेट यू कैन वॉच लेटर एनी टाइम नो नीड टू वरी एंड आई विल सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वेबिनार happy trading everyone and happy ramadan and happy holi in advance thank you so much everyone